Welcome to Speak English Podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Speaking English is way easier than you think. You just need to use the right materials and techniques. Do you like mysteries? I do. But only when they explain what's really going on. Today I will talk about mysterious metallic monoliths. And with a mini story, you will improve your English fluency. Before we get started, go to my website, speakenglishpodcast.com to get the transcript. It's free. By the way, thank you for your messages and feedback. It's my pleasure to help you speak English in a fun and entertaining way. Okay, let's start. Today's topic is about mystery. I don't know if you've seen this on social media or TV. In several places around the world, some very remote metal monoliths have appeared. Many have speculated on the subject. Some say it is simply a viral campaign on a global scale, perhaps from some well-known brand. Others say that it's simply an artistic expression and that they do it this way, without saying anything, to draw attention. There are always people who claim that it's part of an alien invasion. What do you think? I don't know if you remember the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. This movie was released in 1968 and, well, at the time, it was a landmark because of director Stanley Kubrick's innovative style. In the movie, several monoliths are shown, leaving the viewer to guess their meaning. I guess whoever created these monoliths that had recently appeared was inspired by this movie. The first monolith was found in the Utah desert in the United States. That was last November 2020. Environmental activists removed it. I guess they also recycled it, but it's not clear. Since then, structures of this type have been located in different parts of the world. One wonders what it could be. Well, now I will explain the mystery. They are not aliens. I myself have placed all these monoliths with the message I am Georgiana and I want to help you speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Well, it wasn't me, but it would be a great idea. Actually, the people responsible are an artist collective called the Most Famous Artists, or so it seems. It turns out that they sell these metal monoliths for the affordable amount of $45,000. I think that's a lot of money, though. You know, if you want a monolith in your yard, you might want to start saving up. Okay. I want you to learn English three times faster. And that's why I created a video course. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com and get my video course for free. Now let's continue with a mini story. A mini story is very simple. 
but really powerful. I ask easy questions on purpose, so that you can simulate a conversation. It's like talking with another person in English. Let's start. A crowd of people is looking at a monolith on the beach. Is there a crowd of people or a few people? A crowd of people. There is a crowd of people looking at a monolith. What are people looking at? A monolith. They are looking at a monolith. They are looking at a monolith on the beach. Where is the monolith? On the beach, the monolith is on the beach. A man named Tom comes within a foot of the monolith. Is the man's name Jack? No, his name is not Jack. His name's Tom. Does Tom approach the monolith, or does he walk away? He gets closer. Tom is getting closer. How far away is Tom approaching? Less than a foot away. He comes within a foot of the monolith. People are afraid of what might happen. Are people afraid of what might happen, or are they relaxed? They are afraid. People are afraid. They are not relaxed. They're afraid of what might happen. They are not relaxed. Who is afraid? The people. People are afraid. Tom inserts a coin and takes a soda can out of the monolith. Does Tom insert a bill? No, he doesn't insert a bill. He inserts a coin. Does Tom insert a soda can and pull out a coin, or the other way around? The other way around, Tom inserts a coin and takes a can of soda out of the monolith. Where does he get a can? From the monolith, he pulls the can out of the monolith. The monolith. Is actually a vending machine with a futuristic design. Is the monolith actually an alien artifact? No, the monolith is not an alien artifact. It's a vending machine. How is the design of the machine? Retro or futuristic? Futuristic. The machine has a futuristic design. Very cool. Tom 
was a practical guy. He wasn't surprised by the monolith-like shape of that vending machine. He was simply thirsty and used the machine to get a can of soda. Perfect! It's the end of this mini-story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. It is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.